Okay, so welcome back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about graphing variations of secant and cosecant functions. Okay, so this is including um, vertical and horizontal shifts. Okay, so this involves all the different transformations that we, that we discuss. Okay, uh, so these are the characteristics uh, for graphing these functions or variations uh, of these functions. So as you can see, they both have a stretching factor, the uh, same, same stretching factor that we're used to. Um, the period is the same, 2 pi divided by the uh, absolute value of b. Okay. Uh, the domain, so the domain of the secant function, as, we were, as you recall, in this case, because we now have, we're dealing with b and we're dealing with a, a, hor a horizontal shift, um, the domain is going to be all real numbers except for when x is equal to uh, the ratio of c over b, the phase shift, plus a multiple of pi over 2b, right? Um, and that's where k is going to be an odd integer, okay? Whereas over here, the domain is going to be, again, all real numbers except when x is equal to the ratio of c over b, but now it's just b over, uh, pi over b times a multiple of k, where k is just an integer. So whether it's odd or even, it just, that doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. Uh, where it has, notice here, it has to be odd. Uh, here, it just has to be an integer, multiple integer. An integer multiple, rather. And then the range, okay, notice that now we add the um, d, right, the vertical shift. Okay, so notice that that's included, but the range is the same for both uh, secant and cosecant, okay? And so there's no amplitude for either one. And then the basic function, again, without the shifts, remember the basic function for secant is even, and the basic function for uh, cosecant is odd, okay? Because their corresponding uh, reciprocal functions are also even and odd respectively. Okay, have a great day, and now we're gonna do some examples and put all this to work. Take care.